Hi everybody, today, guess what? I'm in Adelaide, South Australia. And today, I'm going to show you one of our best customers. It's called Samurai Teppanyaki. This restaurant is only one restaurant in Australia, not in Adelaide, to become a member of uh, authentic Japanese Kobe beef from Japan. So, we are going to go inside and find out what's happening and I uh, already show you some of the amazing Kobe beef and how they prepare for their customers, all right? Let's go inside. Okay, Clark, we are here. We are from uh, all the way from Sydney. And uh, thank you for today. And uh, you are the owner of this uh, Samurai Teppanyaki restaurant. Yes. And uh, can you share your information? Like uh, when did you start this restaurant yeah. and all your inspiration why you started the restaurant? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. First thing, thank you very much for coming today. All right, so thank you, Osawa, for coming to our 80th anniversary. Yeah, so our restaurant starts set up uh, which is 2012. Mm. Start from with a very small, tiny restaurant, only about 20 seats. Mm. Three years ago, we moved to the new location, which is Hyde Park mm. in Adelaide, which is King William Road, one one six. Yeah, so growing bigger. Mm. So now we got about uh, 50 seats and the five teppanyaki grill. But uh, why? What made you to start this kind of teppanyaki? Okay, so. Personally, I've been always been a teppanyaki chef for more than about 12 years now. Mm. So I used to work in Japan and always work in the hotel, right? So uh, I love this kind of style of cooking mm. because it's no boring job. Mm. So you're meeting and facing customer every day. Mm. So you talk to customers, mm. you get a feedback straight away. Mm. So this actually filled up a lot of passions mm. of my cooking. It's mm. inspired me to create a lot of new dishes, mm. flavors. Yeah, so yeah, that's a fun job. Your restaurant Samurai Japan is the, is the first authorized authentic Kobe beef restaurant. Yeah. So, can you, why you decided to become a member of Kobe beef? Okay, the story for Kobe beef, yes, it is. So, our restaurant Samurai Japan House now mm. is the first one mm. so far and the, is the only one in mm. Australia. Mm. But definitely, we'll have more joined families, mm. will become next Kobe beef restaurant. Yep. Yes, yes. But what inspired me to mm. become the first one, mm. uh, actually, just story back to Japan, mm. right? So two years ago, which was 2018, that was the first time Japanese while you come to Australia, yes. right? Yes. So yep. that was the time I visited in Tokyo, mm. which is the Wagyu uh, auction center, okay. Kanto auction center, yeah. the Wagyu auction center. Mm. So I went there, I mm. met a lot of the mm. industry people, mm. right? Mm. And I saw a lot of group products, Kobe beef, mm. uh, Matsuzakas, mm. Omi. I was uh, surprised, mm. the meat qualities. Mm. And uh, that time, I was just uh, writing the, the information, mm. the caption on our Facebook page. I said, uh, look, I will try my best mm. to bring this world-class level Wagyu beef back to Adelaide. Okay. So that's the information I passed on to our cousin. Mm. About one year time, slowly building up, we start doing Japanese Wagyu, A5 Japanese normal Wagyu, mm -hmm. then applying to the Kobe beef, mm -hmm. and then we get approved. Okay. Yeah, so I was so happy, and I, I tell you, customer, so I made my word. I bring the world class beef coming to Ryan right Adelaide. Okay, that's why you never shared that information before. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, we are the member of Japan Teppanyaki Association. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, we are the only teppanyaki restaurant mm -hmm. in Australia that reaches with them. They actually inspired me to doing my best job mm -hmm. to, to, to bring the, the best beef from Japan to Australia or in Adelaide. 
So now we can share the taste mm. and uh, get experience from Japan, mm. right? In Adelaide, let all the audience and the people, the uh, guests, mm. they can taste this beef. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. That's interesting. So what about this, um, other than the Kobe beef, something people never been here should come over to try something uh, different, you know? You can provide different uh, Restaurant experience. Exactly. Yeah. So like our restaurant now, mm. we're pretty much doing like authentic Japan teppanyaki experience. Mm. So uh, we try to get as much as we can the same experience from Japan, just mm. right in Australia. Yeah. So from the layout, the concept, the, the presentation, the service, the food, the sauce, mm. everything. Mm. We try the best to do this. So uh, customer come here, mm. they're not only just coming for a piece of meat. They come in for the whole experience. Yes, restaurant. Yeah, restaurant, restaurant experience. Mm. Starting the point from the ending the door mm. to finish leaving the restaurant. Mm. All right, so this is what we provide mm. and uh, we try so hard to, to, to service our customer. Mm. And also in our restaurant now, we our specialty, which is Wagyu beef. Mm. So in our restaurant, not only Kobe beef, mm. we also do Australian beef. Yes. So we have four different kinds of Wagyu beef served in the restaurant. Mm. So what that means, which is we create a very unique experience mm. to let our customer and the guests to choosing different steak and then compare themselves to see the difference between mm. different Wagyu, mm. right? Australian Wagyu have two different types, F1 to the full blood, yes. they can compare with. Uh, Japanese, normal mm. Japanese Wagyu with Kobe, they can compare with. But most popular popular combination here, which is the Wagyu beef, compare with the full blood Wagyu, which is top of the Australian Wagyu, compared to the world's best. Mm. So what's the difference, right? So everyone got a different opinion. Some people will say, well, they still prefer the flavor of the Australian one. But a lot of people say that, well, we still like the amazing Kobe beef because mm. it's melting your mouth, mm. the flavors, everything. I yeah. think so there's so many customers, you know, they want to find out what the, the difference between Australian Wagyu and the Japanese Wagyu. And the, you can provide the whole experience it's, here. Exactly. Yeah, but exactly. that's really important. Yeah. Not yeah. many restaurants they can provide that kind of. Uh, yeah, four you know, kinds. Yeah. 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 Also, in our restaurant, we also do our own dry aged wagyu. Mm. Right? So they give another interesting taste mm. for the customer. Mm. So dry aged wagyu is not always on the menu. Mm. Depends on the beef is ready or not in that week. Mm. But always something different when customer coming back, they mm. can taste something different. Like us now, we're doing dry age at least 45 days, mm. up to 60 days, 90 days. So the, to be honest, this beef, if we put on sale, just one night, all gone. Nowadays, I think people like to try something new, mm. something they've never been experienced. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a very important. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, Osawa sound. So now it's the time. Let's go to try the beef and the experience tonight. Okay, why not? Let's, let's go. go. Try. All let's right. Go. Today's video, I give you two points. The reasons why you should come here to try Kobe beef, okay? First thing, this restaurant, you can try authentic Kobe beef from Japan. And also, number two is, this is the only one authentic Japanese teppanyaki style, authentic Japanese style in Australia. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and uh, keep it posted. If you have any restaurant you want me to visit, please leave a comment. All right, thank you for today.